All right, what's up everybody? It is Hawksborough back with a new video. So today we're gonna play a new game. Um, in the past we played Rival Stars Horse Racing, which you guys absolutely love. And I recently came across this game on Steam. Uh, it looks to be a lot like Rival Stars Horse Racing in a sense. Um, but you're an actual person and you get to run around. This is called the Ranch of Rivershine. So today we're gonna check it out, see how it goes, see how the game plays. It had very good reviews on Steam, so I am so excited to get into this. Um, and without further ado, we will get started. So, new game. Oh, we get to create a character. See, I have no, I have no idea about this game. I have never played, on, uh, played it before. Um, I have never... Oh, I'm gonna go the other way. No, we don't. Okay, so there's us. Um, I, I didn't really look at the game too much because I didn't want to get any spoilers on it. Oh, okay, there we go. My eyes are green. Eyebrows are fine. Hairstyle. Okay. Can I rotate you at all? No, I cannot. Alright, so that's more of my hairstyle, personally. And I did turn my cursor on so you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't usually do that, but... I just wanted to try it out, see if you guys are cool with it. So, um, do we have any cool hair colors? Um... It's about what my hair color is. Um, we'll go with green. I do like... Kind of like an earthy tone, I guess. Overalls. I do not want overalls. I do like those black pants, though. Boots. I can't really see the boots at all. So I'm going to go on a whim. Um, so our name, obviously. Can we fit our whole name in there? We can! Alright, cool. So that's our character. Looks great. Looks fun. Oh, we are straight in. Okay, so I haven't really had a look at the sensitivity at all. So we have an arrow. We can whistle. Okay. And we have player information. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So like I said, I don't know much about this game. Oh, Madeline Buchamp? Is that how you say that? Madeline Buchamp? Ah, Hawksboro, I'm so pleased to see you here. Please allow me to extend to you a warm welcome to Rivershine. Thank you. We've all been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Hawksboro. The entire town has been working diligently to restore the ranch for you. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, everyone who remains. At any rate, the past few years have been quite challenging for our community, to say the least. Ooh, I'm sorry. However, now that you're here and we have our very own champion to represent Rivershine once again, I'm confident that better days lie ahead. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm a champion, but okay. Of course, you're not yet a champion, Hawksboro. Yeah, I'm not. Especially since you arrived here on foot. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, I've arranged for horse traders to participate in a grand reopening of the auction house today. While we don't currently have many horses available, I'm sure that I'll be able to offer you a greater variety in the future. Now, under now, it's understandable if the prospect of participating in your first horse auction is intimidating. Allow me to explain the process. Please do, because I have no idea what's going on here. I kind of just got thrown into things. As I prevent, pre blah, 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 present each horse to you, you may either pass or place a bid on it. Feel free to pass on any horses that don't interest you, but once you do, someone else will purchase it. If you see a horse that catches your eye, be sure to bid on it. It may take a few rounds to win it, but don't worry. If you truly want a horse and have the funds for it, I'm confident you'll be able to obtain it. Okay. If I may offer you some advice on choosing your first horse, of course, you should choose a horse with a coat that you like, but also consider their skill levels, their jump speed, endurance, and flexibility will all impact their performance. All of these skills can be improved based on a horse's potential, therefore, if you plan to train your horse, it might be best to purchase one with high potential, even if their other skills are currently lacking. 
Don't worry too much about their name either. You can change that later. Oh, good. Because I do love naming animals. I'm thrilled to see which horse you will choose, Hawksboro. I'll see you in the auction house when you're ready. Okay, so we are kind of just getting thrown into this. Really, we are. So let's let's explore a bit. Um, so I said it was a lot like Royal Sorcerer's Racing. I was completely wrong on that. This is like you're actually a person. You're running around. You're doing stuff. Uh, Wild Sprout. Is that the name of this horse? I can interact with it? Wild Sprout statue looks like a typical typical stone figure. Hmm. Interesting. There's a board over here. We cannot interact with the board currently. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got going on. So this is the auction house. This is where we're going to get our first horse. I would love to explore more, but let's go ahead and uh, get going on that first. I don't normally do this. But I'm going to turn up the sensitivity a bit. Because this camera is kind of weird. I mean, it's delayed. Alright. I'm sure I have a few people in the crowd eyeing this one. What do we What do we got here? Uh, healthy adult stallion bay. Speed is not great. 12%, 18, 8. Ooh, nope. Uh, no. I'll pass. Okay, what do we got here? Bronze Raspberry. Healthy Adult Mare. Black. What is our speed? 13.5. 13, 13.5. 13, 55. Ooh. No. I love the coat color, but no. Red Lake. Ooh. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? A Red Lake. Healthy Adult Mare. Dark Bay. 8%. 10%. 19.5. 53%. 13.5. 13.5. We're going to pass. Tall Liberty. Healthy Black Adult Mare Black. Ah, da, 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 da. Your potential is even less, so no. I want high potential. Okay, guys, I am very picky with my horses. So this one is 2100. We have 5000. I guess that's a starting bit. I don't know. Uh, speed 1076. Ooh, pass. Come on now. Give me something good. Shiny peanut. Oh, I love that name. It's a chestnut. Okay. 56%. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I want to bet on him. But I'm going to pass. Because I feel like we can do better. This one's already out. Yeah, she's at 50%. Yeah, not great on the speed. Everything else is pretty good. It's the speed that's like... Fire Cherry. No, we're going to pass on you. Because you've got 41% in potential. Ooh, hello. Bronze Hazel. Bid three thousand. Hey, we got it. <laughs> oh, your horse is a lovely choice, Hawksboro. I have no doubt that you will make a formidable pair. Now that you have acquired a horse, I recommend visiting our trainer, River. I've informed her that you will be arriving as she prepared a lesson for you. You will find River in the outdoor arena just down the hill from the auction house. Oh, and don't forget to lead your horse with you to the arena, Hawksburg. I get to lead the horse. I get to lead the horse. <laughs> oh, I love this. So, oh, we gotta go this way. Okay, there's the arena right there. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I get to lead my horse around. Okay. Hello. Well, well, if it isn't Rivershine's next cross-country champion. Ooh, I like cross-country. It's nice to meet you, Oxborough. Oh, and who do you have here with you? Bronze Hazel. I'm sure you'll both go far together. I'm River. I usually work with 
Madeline to help her find and train horses for the auction house, but she asked me to take some time today to prepare a lesson for you and get you acquainted with your new partner. Now let's get you riding. It'll be easier to explain once you're on Bronze Hazel. Just stand next to your horse and mount it when you're ready. Okay. Um. So... Oh, look at this. Okay. That was a good start, Hawksborough. Take it easy with the gallop, as your horse doesn't have a lot of endurance just yet. It's always better to slow down to canter before your horse bump fully runs out of energy. Oh, okay. But I know how fun it is to go at full speed. It actually is really fun. Now, let's see if we could take a better look at Bronze Hazel. Okay. Uh, change my view. See, I can't actually use my alt button or else it'll take me out of, um... It'll take me out of the game for some reason. I haven't figured out why it does that, but... I can't actually do that. Oh, there we go. We got it. Now that you've learned the basics, I'll add a few jumps in the arena. Don't worry, I'll keep the obstacles small for now. Oh boy. To help Bronze Hazel jump, I'll speed up to a trot or faster. Make your horse face the obstacle straight on when you're close enough. Jump it. Remember that it's easier to prepare for obstacles correctly when you're approaching it slowly. So if Bronze Hazel refuses a jump, make sure to take your time when you try again. Okay. Alright, let's give it a try. Yeah. Right. There we go. Nice jump, Hawksboro. If you pay atten close attention after crossing an obstacle, you'll see your horse is improving their jump skill. You could train your horse in multiple disciplines such as jump, endurance, speed, or flexibility when you ride them. However, your horse will lose energy as you train them. Once they run out of energy, they can't be trained any further until they rest. Feel pre free to practice on the other Cavalettis in the arena. I think I said that right. And when you're done training, just come and see me. Well, hold on. Let's do a couple more. Now, do I have to hit space? Yeah, I have to hit space, I think. Hold on. There we go. Doesn't really tell you you're supposed to hit space, but... Alright. training session, Hawksboro. I've already set up a beginner obstacle course on your ranch, so if you want to tra train again, you can always do it so in your arena right here in town. Awesome. We still have a lot to chat about. I'm sure you're very excited to get settled on your ranch with Bronze Hazel. Before you leave town, make sure to stop by the general store. I bet George has a little care package to help you get started. There might even be a carrot or two for Bronze Hazel in there. Talk to you soon, Hawksboro. Okay. So now we can freely ride our horse around, I guess. That's awesome. I love this. This is great. Do a little canter in. Oh, there's some chickens. Look at the chickens. Right, so we can dismount, leave our horse right there, and go into the general store. Welcome in, Hawksboro. I'm sure you've had a long day, so I won't keep you for long. I prepared a little care package to help you get settled on your ranch. It includes a few tools for you, but most importantly, some hay, grain, bedding, and bedding for her bronze hazel. It should be enough to last a few days. After that, you'll be able to gather more forage around your ranch, or come by my store if you're missing something to care for your horse. I have a little bit of everything in my store, but nothing too fancy. You'd usually be able to visit my neighbor's stores too, but they've all closed down due to lack of visitors. Oh no! Hopefully now that you're bringing attention back to Rivershine, they'll settle 
Hit down again. Oh, excuse me. Yawn. Now you should get home and bring Bronze Hable and the stables to take care of them after this eventful day. I wish you both a good evening. Why, thank you. Why, we're supposed to get... Why are we... Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I guess we go down this way? Yeah, that's where we go. I like that, um... Is this where we're going? I don't know if this is where we're going. No, this is not where we're going. Alright, hold on. Let's turn, 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 turn. <laughs> it is kind of hard to turn. But, um, I like that you can use the camera to move your horse around. And it's not just, you know, WASD. I'm assuming this is it. Yep. Maybe? Yeah, this is it. Oh, look at how dirty this bridge is. Oh, da 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 da. Alright, so this is where the stables are. Let me zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. Um, press F to learn more about your horse. Okay. So, obviously her name. We can change her name. We're going to keep it as Bronze Hazel for now. But I do want you guys to give me some name suggestions down in the comments below. Um, so we can give this girl an awesome name. Which, her name is awesome now, but it is a little... It's not my favorite name in the world. I'll say that. So... Comment some names down below, and yeah. So we have Hay, we have Alfalfa Hay, Timothy Hay. Oh, that was my phone. Let's mute that real quick. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Green can be given once a day, but is not necessary. Green can either set satiate your horse or be used to boost their training for the day. Each type of grain impacts a different training discipline. Oh, nice. We have oats, too. We have carrots. Alright, we got the brush. Old brush. Oh, and we get to brush them down. Clean your horse's stall when they, they're they left in the stables overnight. You can also place down straw to keep your horses more comfortable indoors. Nice. Well, there you go. Alright, so we can put down some straw. Alright, equipment. Change your horse's blanket, saddle, or bri and bridle in the stable. The equipment will impact your horse's performance. To ride your horse tackless, you can remove each piece of equipment. Okay. We can go no blanket. We'll leave all of this. Well... So it says, keep each of your horses either in the stable or in the pasture. Horses kept in the stable will have more energy the next day, but need to be cared for. Horses kept in pasture don't need to be don't need to be fed or cleaned daily. So we can send her to pasture. Okay. And there's no... It's unknown about her family tree. Oh, we can give her a... Okay, cool. And then we can go back. Alright. Visit your new home and go to bed. Okay. Do we... Hold on. Can we see our horse? Before we do that, I want to see if we can see him in the pasture. I'm sure we can. But... Are they out here? I don't see them. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What's this? Oh, 
you can that's right they said at the beginning you can uh gather stuff around your your farm that's good oh wow look at this so we can sleep readjusted my chair a little bit game saved successfully okay River Store. Hiya, Hawksboro. I hope you had a good night's rest because we have a busy day ahead. Why don't you come by for a chat and I'll get you set up with a new training course to practice with your horse. You have your first competition to get ready for. Map Exploration. Hey, ha hey there, Hawksboro. I thought you might be getting a bit turned around as you find your way around town. Why don't you ride into town with your new pony and check your map to see where I am? Bet you can. I bet you can find me. Probably. Jai? Is that how you say that? Okay. Well, we gotta get her horse first. So, we can tre press M. So, our horse is right there in the barn. There's our training arena. Okay. And there's a couple different places where we can exit, I think. Farm fields. Okay. So I guess we just go in here. How do we do this? Ron's Hazel. This is where she stays. Okay. There she is! <laughs> she kind of blends in with the surroundings. Alright, we're saddled up. Ready to go. So we can go back through this way. Is it river and town? So let's head on over there. Oh, they're sheeps. Alright, so we need to go visit River. Is that... Hold on. Saddlery is closed. Is it the general store I'm supposed to go to? It doesn't really say. Hmm. So there's us. There's Jai. Competition board, that's what that is. Okay, I know where to go, I think. Let's just trot on up some stairs. <laughs> go this way. Down the path. right in here for now. Or not River. Gosh. Hazel, as I'm going to call her. Alright. Hi, hi, Hawksboro. Now how overwhelming it can be. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, I need to talk about the quest. Ah, Hawksboro, I hope you're ready for another training session today. Before we get started, why don't you take a look at what I have in store? I've prepared a few different courses for you, from beginner to expert. Each course also has obstacles of different styles with unique layouts, so it should keep it interesting while you're training. For today, the beginner flower fences should be a good start. Oh. So... So 
hundred dollars. No problem. All right. So, hold on. I feel like glad you picked up the fire fences before you run out of here I thought I'd give you a few tips about bronze hazel's training as you might have noticed you will naturally train your horse as you ride around town or jump in the arena you can see next to their energy which skill they are actively training for example galloping will train their endurance while cantering improves their speed flexibility flexibility is practiced by turning sharply and jumping well it's pretty self-explanatory I guess Keep in mind, you can't train a horse indefinitely. It will be limited both daily based on the horse's energy and through their whole life, depending on their potential. As your horse practices different activities throughout the day, such as training and competing, ugh, I can't speak, their energy will go down. This is, will also impact how long they can gallop. And if your horse completely runs out of energy, they won't be able to go faster than a canter. Okay. Luckily, energy is restored daily as long as your horse is healthy. Your horse will also have more energy if they sleep in the stable, so keep that in mind before turning them out to pasture. Potentially, on the other hand, potential, on the other hand, can't be restored e easily. Your horse will lose potential every night they spend in pasture, and will lose a potential point for every skill point they gain. Okay. In other words, if you want to maximize... Okay, so, essentially, don't leave them out in pasture. A whole lot. Got it. For now, let's focus on improving your horse's jump skill. Simply walk to the arena with Bronze Hazel and select the beginner course you'd like to practice on. Should I have a few courses to choose from now? I can't speak, apparently, now. Come see me again once you've trained for a bit, and I'll let Madeline know about your progress. With any luck, she'll decide to open at competitions again. Awesome! Thanks. I'm so happy. Will she come to me? Oh. No, she won't. Darn. I guess we have to train her for that. Cool. Alright, let's get on and uh Let's go have some fun. We'll do the flower fence. Begin the course. We're stuck on the fence. Here we go. Oh, we'll go around the outside and then we'll make our way to the inside. Maybe. I should have gone through the inside. go. Alright, and I guess we can leave whenever we want. I don't really know. Yeah, so we can complete the quest with River now, I guess. Nice work, Coxborough. I can already see Bronze Hazel's improvement. I'm sure Madeline will be very happy to hear about your progress. Oh, and before I forget, here are a few apples for you. Well, for Bronze Hazel. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you've noticed that your horse's energy goes down during training. If you want to bring their energy back up, you can always offer them a snack. Keep in mind, you can only offer your horse a snack once per day. So choose your moment wisely. Go home and rest now. You both deserve it. Why, thank you. Okay. I've got to get used to not holding down the, uh, the buttons for the W button to make them go and stop because... It doesn't work that way. You have to press it once to increase their speed or decrease their speed. Unless you're trying to do a stop. In that case, it's just... Bloop. 
All right, so we'll go home and rest a little bit. We do have our own arena as well at home that we can train at, I think. Um, there are sheep here. And there's hay there. I think we can gather that hay. Alright. Yes, we can! Awesome, our straw, excuse me. Alright. So my question is, is... Can I hit I for inventory? I can. Hmm. Doesn't exactly explain how to give your horse stuff to eat. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. This is a nice area, though. Um, we should probably go find. Jai, but first we're gonna explore around our place and we're also gonna give some energy back to Hazel because she needs energy. her. I want to feed her and brush her. How do I do that? Hold on. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Let's see. Human run right. <laughs> I like that. Um, let's see. Is it R? No. F. No. Shoot. So F, okay, there we go. Got it. It is F. I'm gonna give you an apple. Can we give you another one? No, we cannot. That's right, we can't. Um... We can only give you a snack here. Okay. Um, let's go find Jai real quick. Full on sprint. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy doing that. Alright, so let's go back to, into town. Um, Jai was to our right? Or left. I don't actually know. Hold on. Um. Jai. There's Jai. So we go down. Take that first right. That's, that's a right. Yeah. We go this way. That's Jai's house right there. I think. Am I right? I am right. Okay. I'll go up to the... To the house and we'll go see Jai if he's here. Hopefully he is. Hello? Anybody's here? Uh, Jai is not here. So I just went into this random person's house for no reason. So I have to find Jai on the map? Okay. I'm probably missing something here. All 
Ah, I can start a guide that'll take me right to him. Get an arrow. Okay, that works. He's on the other side of this building. So I am gonna make this a pretty long episode since it is the first one. Jai's in this building. Are you Jai? No. You're Jai. Yeah? Hey! Howdy, long time no see. Quest! Ha, huh, looks like you found your way around town. I wasn't sure you'd make it here, to be honest. I'm just messing with you. I'm glad you figured out where I was on the map. Oh, I like the artwork so much. You used the map, right? I did. It's so useful. A park ranger's best tool. Excuse me. Now you can use the map simply to look around, see what buildings and villagers are in the area. But there's more. You can also use it to guide, as a guide to find your way around. Simply select a target on your map, like a store or the entrance to a new trail, and then click on guide. It will point you in the right direction while you're riding. Awesome. If you're too far from the entrance of a trail, you can also teleport back to, back there with your horse. Oh, saves you from running back to the entrance, especially if you're getting tired. Don't worry too much, though. I'm sure you'll get used to the town's layout soon, and you'll be able to walk around with your eyes closed. Well, as long as your horse's eyes are open. <laughs> Ready to go on a trail? Alright, so... Okay. We talked to Jai. Is there no more new quests? I guess not. I guess she won't answer my whistle yet. Um... So what now? There's no quest. I guess we go back and sleep? I guess so. I have no idea. Alright, so we'll head back to the ranch and we'll put a hazel away and we'll sleep. Could have gone the other way, but that's okay. The more riding we get, the more fun it is. Wow, this game is really nice. I like it so far. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys think about the game in the comments section below. So far, it is a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it too because this is an awesome game. I have, uh, I love horse games. Like, they are one of my favorite games to play. Um, and I've been looking for a game like this forever that has really nice reviews and I haven't been able to find one for years a game that's uh, centered around you being a rancher and taking care of your horse and raising them up and racing them and doing things like that I haven't this is the first game I've found that's had really good reviews that I I've been excited to play so I am so happy with this so far because I have tried out other games that I just was not a fan of Unfortunately. Alright, we'll give you a brush. Think you could use it. Because you've been uh, riding around a lot. Alright. And we'll give you some... Some of... Or Timothy Hay. And we can look at the mains here. Oh, so their mane will actually grow. Their mane and tail will actually grow. Okay. Good to know. So I want to see the arena over here real quick. Ooh, excuse me. Wow. This is awesome. I am so excited. This is going to be a really fun game. Now, I don't know how story-based this game is. Um, it had a really good beginning to it, which I'm ex I'm happy about, because that means it should have a pretty good story base. But I guess we have to sleep uh, in order to continue the story, which makes sense. Um, it is Wednesday of Spring 3. Oh, 
New challenge! Greetings, Hawksboro. I'm so happy to hear from River that you've been training hard. Might be, I might be getting ahead of myself, but if you're feeling ready for a challenge, come see me in town. We'll have an official inauguration of River Shines competitions. Oh. Okay. Um. I just kind of want to explore around for a second before we go get uh, Hazel from the stables. Oh, so this is where we're going to be able to plant stuff. There's nothing growing here yet. And we don't have anything that we can plant, unfortunately. I can't wait for that part either. You know, um... I play a lot of Farming Simulator. Um, I have, like, two episodes on the channel currently right now. But it doesn't really involve a lot of horse stuff unless you have a bunch of mods. <clears throat> so to see a game that has... Horses and farming in it. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, how do we clean that up? I don't know how to clean that up. It didn't tell me. <laughs> All right, let's get going. But I am very ecstatic for this game. It's going to be good. And I feel like I'm losing my voice a bit. I've had a lot of drinks recently, so that's probably why, but we'll make it through. We'll make it through. Oh, look at the little sheepy. <laughs> I don't think horses normally go upstairs like this, but that's okay. Um. So now we have to find Madeline. I have no idea where she would be at. I could check the map, but I kind of want to just ride around for a minute and see. Should be near. I would think she'd be near the auction house. Hold on. All right, where are we? There's River. There's Jai. Madeline is at her house. So I need to turn around. I do love the graphics on this game as well, for the most part. Um, I think that's it right there. Is this it? Is that Madeline? I think that is. Yes. Welcome, Hawksboro. How's Braun's faring today? Pretty good, actually. Oh, Hawksboro, I'm delighted to share with you that the first competition is ready to take place in Rivershine. Now, if you're feeling ready to inaugurate our town's competition, just head over to the competition board in Town Square. You'll find it right in front of the auction house. From there, you can register anytime you'd like to participate in the competition. We only have one that's organized for now, but I'm sure we'll have more competitions for you very soon. Well, let's see how our new Rivershine champion fares. Oh, don't call me a champion. You have a shop, but you don't have anything in the shop. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get a look at my character real quick. Look at me. I look nice. All right. Come on, Hazel. So, I, I guess we can do a competition. We'll probably end it off. End off the episode after the competition. Um, but we'll see. Excuse me. Splendid day for a bit of cross country. Rivershine Town. Oh, you'll get some monies. Alright, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna go for it. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I 
Oh, you're literally racing through Rivershine. Okay. Good there. Time limit is three minutes. Oh, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> go this way. All right, I got an arrow to tell me where to go. Good. I can't really see the arrow though. All right. We got this. We can do it. Good. We're making good time, actually. I think. Alright, here we go. Oh. That's okay. Up for that one hiccup, but we're doing good. Hey! Darn. I only got 200 bucks. That's fine. At least we weren't in last place. Not really champion material, I don't think. Ah! Uh... Alright, there's a uh, Madeline right there. Good day, Hawksboro Quest. Ah, uh, that was an impressive performance, Hawksboro. I offer you my congratulations on inaugurating our town's first competition. It was not a good competition. Well, it's not exactly our town's first competition, but it has certainly been a few years since our last one. I'm delighted to have you here, Hawksboro. Truly, it's one of only a little sad for us to have a new cha champion. Rushine used to host the most famous competitions. It was a source of pride for our town and attracted many travelers. Unfortunately, our champion left town after her last horse grew too old to compete. She could not bring herself to continue without them and instead decided to create statues to honor them. You can see in our town square the first statue she made for her horse, Wild Sprout. We're quite lucky to... Wait, did you see the statue glow a little just now? Oh no. We're bringing mystical stuff into this now. Ha, ah, silly me. I think my imagination is getting the best of me these days. Regardless, I'm very proud of you and Bronze Hazel for your performance today. I'm sure that everyone in town agrees with me. I know you have already won a prize, but I wanted to give you a little extra to celebrate your achievement. And if you would like to compete again, please don't hesitate to sign up at the competition to board again. Shall we make the most of a fine day? Well, that was good. That was very good. Um, okay. Just wanted to check that to see, because she said it was glowing a little. Can I get another horse? I got 3,000... 3,100 gold, or... I don't even... Is that dollars, I guess? They haven't really, uh, stated that there's a certain specific currency. Oh, there's different types of horses! All horses have a beginner skill level in all disciplines. Uh, I just want to see. Horses available is 13. Bright Holly, healthy adult mare. She's got some potential. Hmm. I'll pass on this one. First amethyst do I love. Ooh. Okay, what we got here? Ooh, okay. Hmm. She's expensive though. She went for 3200 Oh, you're not bad. Don't mare. Guide Magnolia. Hmm. I 
I can't. I can't bid on this horse. I don't think. Yeah. I can't bid on this horse, unfortunately. 4,200? Okay. Can't bid on this one either. <laughs> I'd love to, but... Too expensive. Again, too expensive. Oh! No! No! <laughs> Why do you have to be so expensive? <laughs> okay, so I'm upset because anybody who's watched my Rival Stars horse racing videos knows that I love the Badger Face Stripes. They are my favorite pattern on a horse. I think they're beautiful. Oh, now I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad now. Ah. Okay, uh, no. The horse isn't green. Why is it the name Green Emerald? Light Forest. Don't st Ooh, I have to pass. Darn. It's a good one, too. 2,800. No, I want to give Stallion. If I can. Three Lotus. We'll go through all the horses of this, just because I want to see what coats we have. Um, I'm going to pass on you. Even though you're pretty good. I don't think I could have bid it on you anyways. Ooh, I like you. Can I bid on you? I can. Alright, we're going to bid on this guy. 3100. Hey. Got a new horse, got it, got a new horse. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so we have a new horse. Um, I have no idea where that horse is. I'm gonna assume they're at our stable. I hope, because we just spent money on that horse. See, you can't just randomly jump. You have to be... Because I'm hitting the space bar, which I'm assuming is jump. Because uh, it really didn't tell me. Alright, we're going to head back and hope that that horse is there. Oh, there's some uh, straw over there. Let me get that. Can I change? Hold on. Where's the E button? The interact button. Okay. That is always my go-to interact button. And it won't... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be sad. I just wasn't close enough to the horse. Horses back at the stable? I don't know. Oh, my phone just went off. Oh, my dad just sent me a picture of the dogs. They're uh, sleeping next to each other. Oh, yes! You are here! Hello! Um, how do we clean this mess up? I didn't want to do that. Come here. I hit the wrong button. F. Um, pitchfork. That's what we do. Okay. There we go. Cleaning up our stall. Alright. So we're going to put down some straw. I'm gonna give you an apple. And we're gonna give you a old brush and get you nice and clean. All that dirt off ya. I'll wash over here. 
Okay, so it actually shows you when you've done it, shows those little stars like that. Oh, gotta get. Okay, that's good, that's good. Are we all good? Yeah, we're all good. Nice. I'll give you some oats. Alright. And we'll go say hi to our new guy. Hi, new guy! Give you some orchard grass. And give you a good old brushing. Oh, you're good with brushing. And give you some straw then. Enjoy. Oh, he is handsome. We'll have to work with him tomorrow, but for now, we're gonna leave him be. Stable board. What is this? Okay. We've got to we've got to change the names of these guys. Hot Hutton. I didn't actually look at his name when I bid on him. Um, <laughs> I was just like, oh, pretty horse. Let me grab that. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, wow, that is amazing. I am so happy with this game so far. Um, so I think we're gonna... We've done three days already. We've kind of pretty much done the, uh... The tutorial, I guess, for the most part. So we'll go ahead and sleep real quick. It keeps saying E on there, so I press E, but I changed the key on it. Game saved successfully. So, let me see. Yeah, you do have to sleep to save your game. Alright, good to know. So, I think we'll... Because the days go by pretty fast. We'll go ahead and do one more day. Hopefully, they'll get us into the farming. George's store. Good morning, Hawksburg. If you have the time, come see me in town. I can use your assistance with, with restocking my store. Don't worry. It'll be worth your time. I promise. Wishful whistle. Hey, Hawksboro. I've heard your whistling about whenever you can't find your horse without much luck why don't you come see me whenever you have time i'll help you make sense of it before half the town goes crazy oops okay so uh like i said this is gonna be a long episode i'm gonna make it extra long since it is the first episode and i am having so much fun with it already um who should we take Oh, look at that! We have a, uh, a ribbon! Okay, so we... First off, we're gonna muck out our stall. Because, like, that needs to happen. First thing you do. Muck out the stall. Make sure everything's clean for the bubbies. There you go. Nice and clean. Alright. Um, I think... We'll go ahead and... Oh, he's only got one thing to do. Which is fine. It'll be easy enough to do real quick. There we go. We're gonna take our new guy out. Um, definitely please. Please give me some name suggestions for this guy. Um, if we don't have any name suggestions for the next episode, I'm gonna come up with one until we have a new one. <laughs> if I don't fall in love with that name. So we're gonna... Oh, we can't mount you? Oh, wait. Yes, we can. I'm just hitting the wrong button. Like an idiot. So we're going to take our new guy out, uh, uh, go talk to George first. He's at the general store. I'm very happy with this too though. Like, ugh. You know, it's kind of like a mixture, so far, it's been like a mixture between um, Rival Stores Horse Racing with the jumping and stuff. Uh, Stardew Valley for when we eventually get to the crops. Uh, as well as Farming Simulator, again with the crops. Okay. I gotta get used to using that button, even though I should be used to it by now. Um, 
Is this not who I talked to? Hold on. Is this not where I go? George's general store, right? So George isn't at the general store yet. I guess we have to go see him first? Let me actually mark that on the map because myself is not gonna be able to remember those directions very easily. <laughs> So we gotta go this way. This is a very lovely town and lovely graphics. This is it over here. Quest, I've been looking forward to doing some business with you, Hawksboro. I'm sure you'll be collecting and growing a lot of forage as you spend time around Rivershine. I'll be more than happy to buy it from you. In my store, you'll notice that in addition to purchasing goods from me, you can also sell things from your own inventory to me. <laughs> I'll have to buy it a little, at a little of discount so I can still run my business. <laughs> but don't worry, it's still good. It's still, it's still a good deal for you. Okay. Also, sometimes need help to fulfill special deliveries. These are specific items that I need, so I'll pay extra if you can deliver them to me. I've been looking to replenish my straw supply, so if you gather some for me, that would be grateful. I have straw. How much straw do you want? <laughs> All right. So let's go find some straw, I guess. Six straw for George. I'm guessing we can just find it around town. Ooh, I hit a wall. Or a fence, I should say. Because I wasn't paying attention. So, here's my dilemma. Do you just find it randomly around the town, or are there specific spots? Because, see, I found some over there yesterday. That's, like, been the spot to replenish the straw recently, but there's none there now. Um, straw? Well, we'll head over to Rivers while we're at it. And, uh, oh, there's some straw over there. Goody, goody. All right. Let's hop back on. I keep hitting the E button because I see it on the screen, but I changed the button on my, to my mouse. So it'd be easier. There's one. I do not have a lot of money to my name right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk to River real quick. Quest. Hawksboro, well, I can't say I didn't hear you coming with all that whistling. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I know how confusing it can be to form a bond with a new horse. When you purchase a horse from the auction house, they initially won't trust you much. If you want them to follow you, whistling won't help. So you have to lead them everywhere. Once their trust for you increases, they'll look for you when you whistle. As they trust you more and more, they'll listen to you from further away and come running faster, too. 
I'm sure you've already started to develop a, bo a bond with hot... Or Plutton. I don't know what that name is. But I'll give you a few hints to help with it. Consistency is key. Spend time riding your horse, brushing them, offering them treats, winning competitions together. But keep in mind, you can also lose your horse's trust. Brushing their head too much isn't fun, as is losing a competition or letting them get sick. Let's say you... Why don't you increase their trust a bit and come see me again once they listen to your voice? I always love to see your progress. Nice. Okay. Will do. Yeah. You're not going to listen to me. Actually. Let's do this real quick. Um, we're gonna do an empty arena, so we're gonna warm up with a walk. Move to a trot. We're just gonna canter around for a bit. Do some figure eights. So, um, I used to actually, I competed a couple times when I was younger in horse competitions. Um, I did some jumping, I did some, uh, some groundwork and stuff and it was fun I enjoyed it and I actually wanted to get back into it um, I just don't have the time for it unfortunately so but eventually I'll get back into it and have some more uh, competitions eventually hopefully I actually fell um, my first yeah it was my first time doing jumping and the horse I was riding did not want to listen and I you know, I was very new to this still, doing my first competition, and the horse stopped right in front of a jump, and I went over their head, and I landed on one of the jump poles. Like, my back landed directly on one of the jump poles. I was fine, but it did not feel good, and it was very embarrassing. Now, if you fall off like that, you get immediately disqualified, unfortunately. So, that wasn't fun. But I learned from it and I got better and I did really good next time because the next time I did jumping the horse I was on was a different horse and this horse like just knew what to do like you could probably let go of the reins and this horse would take you through the course by itself um, he is that good um, and that's pretty much what he did I didn't really have to do anything I didn't even really guide him at all. He guided himself because he'd been through the course before, so he knew what to do. And he was a really smart horse. Um. And he was my favorite horse. One of my favorite horses, too. I don't know if he's still at the barn that... That he was at, but... Because he was a leased horse, I think. But he was, he was everybody's favorite because he was so easygoing. And, you know, he was just that good. So everybody wanted to ride him at competition because he was just that good. All right, let's see if we can find this hay real quick. I have to go get our other horse though because we're running out of speed. Or stamina, I guess you would call it. I don't know where you would get Hello, little chicken. You know, it's this hay isn't just like, or straw, excuse me, I keep wanting to call it hay. The straw isn't just kind of laying about, unfortunately. Oh, there's another piece. I wish it would tell you how much you've collected. 
Alright. So if I hit F for horse information, trust is at 1%. <laughs> We're gonna give you an apple. 2%. <laughs> There we go. That's funny. So if I just give him an apple for 10 days, it'll work? Is that how that works? <laughs> That's a joke, obviously. We're not going to do that for 10 days. I love the sound of chickens. They're so much fun. So I'm going to skip to when I get back to the stables because I need to switch out horses and I need to find that straw. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, so I've got bronze hazel here and I was kind of just going around looking around the farm real quick. And I guess we'll have multiple arenas for multiple different things because we've got an arena right there. And there's another one up here. This one right here, which is intact. It doesn't need to be messed with or anything. And we've got something up here. What is this? There's a sign, I think. Is that a sign? No, that's a lamp. I'm gonna assume this is like another pasture or something? That's what it looks like. I guess we have multiple pastures, which makes sense if you have a lot of horses. Um, one thing I don't know is that if, like, I don't know if we're able, I'm assuming we're going to be able to upgrade, like, the house and the stables and stuff. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Oh, here's another area where we're going to be able to plant stuff, I think. Wow. More places to plant, I'm assuming. I do love this. This is so much fun. Um, that This is where our uh, pasture is that we use currently. Let's, can't jump over that? Okay. So you can't get into this just yet. This must- oh, this is probably another barn area for, like, farm animals and stuff. Okay. So, if we go into this arena up here, I'm gonna pause on the forager trader for now. Um, just for now, though. And I'm gonna see... Okay, so we can, all right, so we can do courses here so we don't have to go all the way to river for these courses, which is good. I like that. So if we can train them up a bit, hopefully we can uh, get some more trust. So what we need to do is go this way. And then what we'll do is we'll make a wide circle. Here. We'll turn again. Look at that. That was a pretty sharp turn, I'm not gonna lie. we go. And then what we're gonna do is speed it up. Need to get to speed is key. Look at that. Look at that skill. 
so what you do is you train them up like a soul and they get better and then you finish off the course so if we go to F you can see our stats trust is at 8% with bronze hazel, which is good. It means we're almost to 10%. Alright, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'm assuming doing that helps us get to 10%. I'm also going to brush her again. That'll probably help too. But I'm going to skip through that real quick and I will be right back. Alright, so I've actually gotten... Uh, bronze hazel up to 10% trust. So if I do this, and let's say we run over here. Okay. Hey! We got it! We did it! <laughs> so we can complete that quest with hazel, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. And then we gotta find this uh, straw for George. Which might be a little bit annoying, but we'll see. We'll get it. I've collected two pieces so far. I wonder if we just have to sell him six pieces. Because we've already sold him three. We need to give him three more. I don't know why I went this way, but that's okay. Oh, it's getting later in the day. Okay. I'm so happy with this. Hopefully River's in our house. Let me double check and make sure. I didn't just come over here. She is not. She is in town. She's in the town square, actually. Ooh, had to do me like that. Hello. Quest. I could see you're you're really starting to form a bond with Bronze Hazel. I am, and I'm sure it'll only get better from here. To celebrate this moment, why don't you change up Bronze Hazel's equipment? I have a new blanket right here for you. Feel free to pick whatever looks best for your horse. It won't affect their performance in competitions, aside from making them look their best for the crowd. Oh. Oh. I can't afford that. But that's going to be cool when we can do the barrels. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. So if we hit F, we can't change their tack right now, which is fine. We have to do that in the stable, which also makes sense. Um. So he should be at his store now, shouldn't he? Where's that at? General store. Where's this him right here? What is this? George! Hey, my guy. I need to talk to you. Um... Can I? Alright. So, if I go to quest... No, you can't do that. Darn. I was hoping that would be a way to get around that. But okay. That's fine. Our horse was sideways for a second. It is getting late, so we should probably sleep. There's no straw over there. There's usually straw right there. That's fine. We'll find the straw. Eventually. Alright, let's get you back.
I have to buy that straw back from, uh, what's his face? Alrighty. So let's go ahead and go sleep. Wow. This game is beautiful. I love this so much. Um, I think after we sleep through this night, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off there. Just cause, I mean, we're already an hour and 20 minutes into this episode, so. Yeah, we gonna end it here. I'm not even gonna walk out the door, because if I do, it'll send me probably on some new quest lines, and we need to save that for next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, this was an awesome game so far. I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know down in the comments uh, section below what you think of this game so far, because I think it's awesome. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, but yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.